What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Terrence, YouTube's news reporter. And if this is your first time here, man, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to become part of the family. And all my returning subscribers, man, welcome back. Long time no see. I missed y'all. I haven't heard from y'all in like what 30 plus days. All because all American wanted to make us wait 30 plus days for episode 9. So we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off on episode 8 where Olivia crashed the car and asked Spencer to take the rap for her because she was drunk. Now, in episode nine, Spencer, big dummy, actually takes the rap for Olivia. I know he's in love, he wants to look out for her. Big dummy. I couldn't believe he actually did it. Like, I had a feeling he was going to, but I was like, nah, the writers ain't gonna make him do that. But he actually did. Spencer, again, tried to save yet another person and took the rap for Olivia. But Spencer gave her the ultimatum. He said, listen, either you come clean and tell your parents the truth or I'm going to tell them. So a little later in the episode, Spencer gave Olivia all day to come clean. She never did. So at dinner, Spencer tried to come clean. But when he tried to come clean, Olivia stopped him and was like, mom and dad, listen, I had one drink. It wasn't pills. It wasn't drugs. I just had one drink. It was alcohol. It's under control. I'm talking to my sponsor. We have everything under control. But Olivia's mom can sense something is up. So she asks Spencer, is there anything else that he needs to tell them? And Spencer comes clean and dimes out Olivia. I mean, I mean, he peeled back the roof and told everything. Said Olivia was drinking last night during the crash. Said Olivia has been drinking all summer. I mean, he snitched on her like it was no tomorrow. But it was rightfully so, man. Like, she deserved to be snitched on. Like, he was trying to help her. She has a problem. So the only way Spencer could help her was to come clean and tell the truth that Olivia has been drinking. Then when her parents threatens to send her to rehab again, she lies once again and protects her addiction and says that our sponsor, who is, by the way, has been MIA, can tell her parents the truth that this is not an addiction. Alcohol and drugs are two separate things. So at this point, Olivia is sweating because her mom is like, okay, can you bring your sponsor by and can we talk to your sponsor and then basically hash everything out? And Olivia's just like, yes. And that was the big mistake there. That's what this whole episode frames around. So this whole episode, she is searching for Leslie. Leslie has been MIA. And Olivia basically skips school. Everybody is freaking out. Rightfully so, because they're thinking Olivia is gone to deep end. She's, I don't know, they're probably thinking she's doing crack. She's probably doing something crazy. So now Olivia is blowing up Leslie's phone. Leslie hasn't been answering her phone. So that's a red flag right there. And Olivia is straight up tripping because she doesn't want to go back to rehab. And I get it. Because when Jordan came by trying to comfort her, she's just like, listen, Jordan, I cannot go back to rehab for months. I don't want to be away from the family. I cannot go back. I just can't do it. And she was so scared. So she's been searching for Leslie this whole episode and no one knows where she is. And Spencer tries to go look for her and his mom makes a great valid point. And I never really thought about it. I mean, it's clear as day, but it never really crossed my mind. She was like, clearly Olivia doesn't care about you as much as you think. She's only worried about herself because if she did, she wouldn't have put you in the predicament she did. If she valued your life, she wouldn't have drove drunk. If she really cared about you, she wouldn't have told you to take the rap for her. She wouldn't have told you to mess up your life for her life. She's clearly addicted to drugs. And I was like, wow, how did I not realize this? That Olivia is so addicted that she really puts herself above everyone. And I just... I don't know how I missed that. I completely missed that. But fast forward, man, Olivia finally finds Leslie and Leslie is actually in jail. And this was a huge wake up call for Olivia because when Olivia met with Leslie, Leslie tells her that she was in the same boat that Olivia was in. And she tells her that, listen, she thought she could control her addiction and she couldn't. She ended up in jail because she robbed her own parents and they turned me in. And basically, she speaks some wisdom into Olivia and she really gets through Olivia. It's like, listen, you need to take control of what's happening. You need to stop what you're doing. You need to go home to your parents. The difference between me and you is 
You have parents at home that want you back. They want you home. They don't want me home. You need to go home and face them. And that really gets to Olivia. So Olivia decides to go home, but on her way home, she makes a pit stop. And of course she sees Spencer. She tells Spencer, hey, I can't do this without you. Can you come with me? And Spencer's like, no, no, you gotta do this on your own. Basically, Spencer's mom got to Spencer, just like how Leslie got to Olivia. And he's just like, listen, if you really cared about me, you wouldn't have did what you did. You wouldn't have put my life at risk. You wouldn't have told me to take the rap for you. You're strong enough to do this on your own. I'm trying to help you. And he was right. When she got home, her family welcomed her with open arms. They loved her. They hugged her. They kissed her. They comforted her. They did everything. And then what really warmed my heart was when she came to her family and was like, hey, what time are we going to rehab? Are we going to rehab tonight or are we going tomorrow? And the family was just like, listen, we're going to try something different. We're going to send you to some meetings and things of that nature. And we're going to come to the meetings with you as a family. We're going to do this together. We're not going to see you in rehab. And I was like, wow, man, this whole episode was about Olivia and her addiction. This time it wasn't about pills, but it was about her drinking and just her addiction overall. And it also shows Spencer how he has to really start focusing on himself. He has to value himself. He has to stop putting everyone else's problems on his shoulder, whether it's Crenshaw, Coop, you know, Olivia, wherever it may be. This episode was a pivotal point for Spencer as well. So this whole episode was really just about Olivia and Spencer. And we're going to touch a little bit about Asher too before I go. Um, Asher has to make a huge decision. Coach wants him to play on the defensive side and no longer as a wide receiver. So he has to choose. Does he want to be, you know, the quarterback of the defense, you know, a DB or a safety, or does he want to be a wide receiver? So he has to make that decision for himself. Not his dad, not his coach. He has to make the decision for himself. So that's basically what happened in this episode, man. Episode 9 wasn't really crazy like episode eight. It was more of a building episode. You know how All American goes. Once something crazy happens, you know, then it comes back down like a roller coaster. Then it builds back up. So I feel like episode 10 is going to get better. And also, I got to talk about Spencer, man. UCLA, their coach retired, and that was Spencer's only scholarship option. And if the season doesn't go well, if they lose one more game, they're out of the playoffs. So, I don't know what's going to happen with Spencer, but they have to win out because Spencer's future rides on this, the state of Crenshaw rides on this, everything rides on them winning the state championship. So, oh, and one more thing. I'm sorry. This is the last thing for real. Shout out to Denise's daughter. Crenshaw might got a new kicker and it's a female. Hey, stay tuned for that, man, because that's going to be dope. So that's all the time I got for today, man. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell button in the corner to get notified of my videos published. Also, hop in the comment box, man. Let me know, man. Do you think the family's decision to not send Olivia to rehab was a good one? And what they chose to do about going to meetings now and trying something different was a great idea? Or do you think it was a bad idea? And also, what do you think about Spencer finally choosing himself over everyone else? I mean, obviously, I think I know the answer to that. But I just want to see y'all take on that, man. Hop in the comment box and let me know. Until next week, I'm going to catch y'all later.